If AI is a future, then NCP is the key. The Model Context Protocol is quickly becoming a background of AI agents. NCP lets AI connect to everything. It gives instant access to any data with zero human bottlenecks. Are you ready to unlock the full potential of AI? In this video, I will share with you exactly how MCP is changing the way AI works. So what if AI could browse through your files, send an email, could jump into a chat, and even handle a full conversation on your behalf? It sounds amazing, but right now, it can't do those things. The AI we have today, no matter how advanced it seems, is only tightly boxed into a small silo. AI is trained on massive data sets, but it is tightly controlled by its inputs, and it doesn't have the freedom to navigate the tools and the platforms that we use every day. Why? Because today, there had never been any technology created to let AI interact with tools and with platforms. So AI has been essentially stuck. AI models today are extremely capable, but they are confined within the walls of their training data, but they lack the infrastructure that will let them participate in the real world with tools and platforms. Want to send an email or want to manage a task within your project management tool? You would have to have a developer who knows how to code create a custom integration. This is resource intensive, this is very fragile, and it takes a ton of time to maintain. Or even say you want to connect AI to your Google Drive just to grab files and do certain tasks, you will still have to get a developer who creates a custom integration, who builds something into an API, and that will still take a lot of resources. This is a concept that researchers call information islands. This is when you have an AI or an LLM, and you have external tools, and it's hard for them to communicate or to connect because the information island has no bridge to connect to the external tool. What if I wanted my AI to connect to more than one tool, Slack, email, Google Drive, Google Calendar, etc.? I would have to create a one-on-one -on -one connection with every single tool and build an API and maintain it if anything were ever to change in the technology. This is where MCP comes in, the model context protocol. Big fancy words, but in simple terms, the MCP unifies the access and capabilities for an AI or LLM across all tools. There's no need for custom integrations. There's no need for maintaining and doing any updates. The MCP will take care of all of that. So in the past, without a standardized protocol like MCP, models were disconnected from all other tools and it was very inefficient. And AI would have fallen short of actually being autonomous. But now it looks a little bit like this. Imagine a future where connecting AI to your tools is as simple as plugging in a USB to your computer. MCP is designed to standardize all communication, all updates, and all integrations with external tools, databases, and applications. Think about it like this. You're giving your AI a global translator. No matter what language another tool or another person is speaking in, this global translator can now translate that information and it makes it super efficient for you to communicate with anyone all across the globe in seconds. So here's the real magic of MCP. It has this function called dynamic reflection. This allows the AI to adapt on the fly and run queries to understand what tools it has as its, its resources without you telling it. For example, if you connect your AI to your Slack channel and one day you add a new resource to Slack, the MCP will automatically run a query and understand what new resource you added to Slack. You do not have to prompt it or update it. It automatically does it itself. Think about what this means. We don't need a developer. We don't need a custom integration. We don't need to update when new tools come online. We get a chance to work faster and to focus on high priority tasks. But MCP doesn't just stop at access. It does have its own tools, its own resources, and it has its own written prompts. A tool refers to what an AI can actually do. It can be sending a message or it can be running research on its own. Resources can be data that you have uploaded as sources, so that can be PDFs, slide decks, links to websites, etc. 
and prompt templates. Prompt templates are just like the prompts you might write into ChatGPT, but you can write very long and specifically detailed prompts that the AI will always remember and use whenever it's solving a problem. And here is the best part of all. When you use an MCP, you don't have to be locked into one vendor. So whether you use Claude, OpenAI, et cetera, it doesn't matter because the MCP is vendor agnostic. So what am I saying here? MCP has created a monumental shift in the capabilities of what it can do for you. Instead of AI being isolated on an island, having to connect one-to-one -one and having a ton of integrations and maintenance, it is now extremely versatile and it doesn't matter which vendor you use, but let's think bigger. With these new capabilities, how could AI change the world? What are the true possibilities of AI with MCP? What if you can use AI to go pay bills for you, to go grocery shopping with you, to do your work at work for you? This is not some science fiction fantasy. This can now happen. Now that MCP is breaking down the barriers to let AI go out and participate in the real world using tools in our platforms every day, the opportunities are endless. Picture this, you now have an AI agent that understands your schedules, that sends emails, sets up meetings, sends updates, and it will create the first draft of the presentation that you now have to give next week. You didn't lift a finger and you didn't even press a button. That is amazing. This will lead to 10X productivity because in the future, we will all be managing teams of genius level AI agents that are vertically specific and focused and trained on one specific task. And those agents working together in unison will give us productivity unimaginable. But AI agents working autonomously does come with its own challenges. With MCP in place, there are a few things that we need to dive deeper on and understand the details. One of the biggest challenges is security. Now that AI can autonomously go do tasks on its own, what does it have access to? Will it use that information in a bad way? Will it lie potentially or hallucinate? when it asks information or information is asked of it. These are things that we have to dig deeper into. Just like a regular employee, an AI needs to have permissions, safety protocols, and protections all against cyber attacks. And these attacks will be similar to the attacks that humans fall for every day. There will be attacks where someone is trying to manipulate the AI to give it information, to do a task, to send money, all of these different types of things. So we are gonna have to rebuild new technology and new infrastructure to make sure that AI is working the right way on our behalf. Luckily today, developers are already working on smart systems that can give AI agents permissions, constrained control, and already putting in safety protocols. So you can think about this as giving AI an ID, and that ID lets it have specific levels of information that it has access to or permissions of information it's allowed to give out. And this makes sense. It's a balancing act. You want to give AI the freedom independently to go do research and to do tasks, but you also want to make sure to minimize errors or any security issues. MCP is not just an ordinary protocol. It's actually the foundation of AI's next evolution and the momentum is undeniable. This next shift is not about making AI smarter or faster. It's actually about letting AI work independently using the tools and platforms that we use every day. If you found value from this video, make sure you check out my recent video showing you how to create the perfect AI prompt.